matter with you? Too lazy to answer the door? Oh, good afternoon, Mr. Finlayson. Good afternoon. What's the idea? I'm here to collect the payment on the furniture. Why, it was paid yesterday. Steady, woman. Not to me, it wasn't. Oliver? Yes, sir. Oliver? Yes, baby, I'm coming. There must be some mistake. Oliver, did I or did I not give you the money to pay on the furniture? You certainly did. Then why wasn't it paid? Well, I gave it to him to pay it for me. Then what did you do with it? I gave it back to him. You gave it to me? Yeah, I gave it to you to pay my room and board. Then you gave it to her. Recommend it? Do you mean to say that the money that he gave to you, that you gave to him, that he gave to me, was the same money that I gave to him to pay him? Well, if that was the money that you gave to him to give to me to pay to him, it must have been the money that I gave him to give to you to pay my rent, didn't I? <sighs> Mr. Finlayson, I owe you an apology. And $37. Then this money must belong to you. And the next time, I want my payment without any detour. Uh, he gave it to you and you gave it to him and who gave it to what? Why, you're all nuts! You big dumbbell, I can't trust you to do a thing. And as for you, I have a good mind to throw you out. You can't do it. I can't do it? No, because I paid my room and board in advance and I gave it to him. What do you mean you gave it to me? That was the money that she gave to me, and I gave it to you to give to him. Then you gave it back to me, and I had to give it to her to give to him. Was that the money that she gave to him that I gave to you to give Why, to him? Why, certainly. Well, if she wants to give it to him, that's her business. No use you and I arguing about oh, it. Oh, cut it out, cut it out. <laughs>